Hi everyone, Ian Jacobs here. Um, CTH, Charlie Hall, and Hammer Hall. Mate, you are a superstar. You are a world champion. Two world, two world titles now. That's awesome. What's next? Hey, I've um, uh, just got to take on a little journey, everybody. Uh, this young man is doing such great things. He's, he's, he's found his place, his purpose in life, which is fantastic, but I've got to take it back to the start. We've got to tell a story. We've got to tell a CTH story. Um, it started as a kid that was massively bullied, and, and like um, there's a guy called Amit Singh who's taken him under his wing. He's a police officer that works in the hardest parts of Australia, helps clean up communities, helps the children, helps stop bullying, all that sort of stuff. So he's resonated with Charlie straight away, as everyone does, because he's a beautiful young man. Now, we've got to go back to the start. Like, I'm, I'm, this guy, Amit, is one of the most amazing human beings, is doing crazy things. He's prepared to die for his purpose, you know, helping communities and stuff, and, and, and that's a great, honorable thing. And, and when he's told me, he, he said, mate, can I, can, can I fight you up in my, my town so that I get respect in the community? I said, yeah, sure. So we do a thing, it's called the World Champion Experience, where people fight me for a world title replica belt. And, um, and so we've done that. We're, and, and when we're up there, he's told me about Charlie. I said, yeah, I'd love to meet Charlie and his family, for sure. Um, see what we can do. And when I've met him, Charlie, oh, he's such a beautiful young man. You know what I mean? He's such a good kid. And, and his parents come up to me and they said, you know, like, they just ripped your heart out. They go, mate, he's coming home and saying, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to live. I'm not, the bullying's that bad. It's like, and he, when, you've got to understand when this kid, he couldn't even look you in the eye and finish a sentence when he first met. The confidence, the whole thing, but he loved boxing. It gave him a strength. And admit, 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 admit. You've started this, mate. You've got to, you've got to know that. It's fucking unbelievable. Anyway, he's, he's, um, he's, he, he's turned around. He's loved it. I've asked his parents. I said, can he, when they've said this to me, it's ripped my heart out. And I said, hey, well, he likes boxing. Does he want to do one of these world champion experiences? We'll come up here. We'll get respect in the community and with, with his school and all that sort of stuff. And they said, yeah. And I said, okay. I said, uh, I, said the little, I said to Charlie, I said, mate, get in the ring afterwards and challenge me. You want to do this? He said, yeah. I said, cool, you challenge me. And so he did. And the promoters said yes. The sponsors said yes. But because they're little shows, they kept on falling over, kept on falling over. And I was all, trying to get all, organized little shows down in Brisbane. They kept on falling over. The shows weren't even happening. But it was, it was all a part of the big plan, you know what I mean? Like the almighty above us, the almighty divine, and the universe and all that sort of stuff and came together as it is for him because it's deserved him. He's, got, he's full of purpose and, and everything. Anyway, he, um, it took three years. It took three years to get this match on, but it ended up being perfect. It was on a massive show. It was like 90 corporate tables sold out up in Townsville. And um, for three years, he trained every single day, twice a day. He'd run, he started off running 500 meters, doing a bit of boxing at night. He ended up running 10, 11, 12 Ks every day, up mountains, everything. The real life Rocky. He lived the real life Rocky. He took the world title, he took the world title exhibition bout off me. Um, he won it in, in, in a fantastic thing. It was, it was amazing. But what that did was that gave him strength, gave him confidence and, and uh, resilience. Because we'd, we'd ban a talk, we'd do all this sort of stuff, you know, teach him the ropes. And, and, and um, but, but most of all, it gave him a voice. It gave him a voice nationally here. But even more so, look what he's done now. Like through, through Glassy, Glassy, Glassy the Great, you're an amazing human being, mate. And then it's gone to the, the WBC, the biggest boxing association in the world has now taken him under. And now he has a, title, a world title, a WBC anti-bullying um, ambassador title. It's so good, it's so good. Now he has a global voice and that's you, little man. You and your beautiful mum and your beautiful dad. Amazing human beings, uh, unbelievable. They're, they're with you every step of the way. Now you have a global voice, my friend. And now you have the power to, to speak and to help and create. Now what we've done on a little scale here is the fighters, this is a yell out to you, fighters, champion athletes, all that sort of stuff. Don't walk past these kids. Don't ignore these kids. Let's, let's acknowledge them. Let's bring them in. They've got so much love. They're really smart too. They can share. They can teach. They can bring back all the old values that we miss. You know what I mean? Or well, not us, but some, some people that, that miss. You know what I mean? Like, but realistically, um, honestly, and with all my heart and my soul, I love you, Charlie the Hammer Hall. You're an amazing human being. You're doing great things. You've found your purpose and your place in life. And um, where is it from here? Man. Only the Almighty knows, and you, you are divine. You are so divine. So proud of you, mate. So, so, so glad to be a part of your, your journey. Um, CTH, WCE, WBC, uh, out.